भारत की बेली दिल जान है शान हमारी दिल भारत की बेची जीत करो जीत की रहो You are the daughter of India. May you shine, may you thrive. We are proud of you. Girl power. Bravo. J hit good people and that means salute to India. Hello good people. Thanks for joining me again. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Anne. I review foreign shows. We travel around the world consuming excellent excellent content. Nothing against Hollywood. We love Hollywood, but there's so much excellent content out there, so why not? And like I always say, we are the friends to the subtitle. We have conquered the subtitle. And you know what I mean, right? When you first start watching foreign show, they're speaking their language and you're reading that subtitle, in the beginning it's hard. But when you get used to it, our brains are so beautiful. You are off to the races and you are enjoying foreign excellent content. So don't give up. Keep doing it. It always gets better. Make the font a little bit bigger. Always helps the eyes and it's just fantastic. Cuz we learn culture and we're learning language, food. I mean there's so much out there so excellent. So keep going, keep going. it gets better and today we are back in india you know how we love our hindi movies bollywood and this one is so excellent it is new on netflix and it's called gun jan saksena and actually based on a true story and that's her name gun jan saksena and the story is about a female pilot she's the first female pilot in her area um to become the first indian female pilot and so as the story opens up actually they show us this girl who is flying with her family she's actually sitting next to her brother and she wants to see outside and the brother is like stop disturbing me i'm trying to sleep and she wants to keep opening the window and the hostess sees that and she was just like come with me so she brings her to the cockpit and she's able to spend some time with the pilots and she was just like this is what i want to do when i grow up and that becomes really her passion and her motivation to do it and then to make even things even better she's got this sub excellent supporting father i actually thought he'd be the one to be like no 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 you know being a pilot is not for women but he was just like no nope. you keep going if that's what you want you keep going actually his mother her mother and the brother were like why would you put yourself through that right but the father was like and why not right so anyway um the actress who is playing uh gun jan saksena is jan heev kapoor excellent actress she did an excellent excellent job um and then the father who i really really love i mean i feel like If you have any girls, they should watch this movie. Any fathers who have girls, they should watch this movie. The support he gave her, oh my god, it was so touching. And her father is being played by Pan Kaji Tripanthi. Um her uh, and her brother is Agan Bendi. Um but just an excellent show. Um once she decides she wants to do this, I mean, she goes to school, she has excellent um uh points at school and mm -hmm. she can really go to any college but she was just like I don't want to go to college I want to go and do the piloting course I want to fly and the thing is women had never many women had not done this so when she would go to apply this guy and you have to see that scene he was trying to frustrate her he would she would show up and be like I want to apply for the course and he'd be like oh you have to finish 8th grade then she'd finish that she comes back oh you have to finish 12th grade then she'd come back and he's like no you have to finish um college or something you need a college diploma i mean it was one thing after another but she did not give up which is an excellent um lesson in life don't give up no matter how hard it is don't give up so finally she makes it and then they have to go do a test which i think you have to do a medical test as well 
And guess what? I thought it was interesting how they described that. They go, you have two disability. One is physical, um, is permanent. The other one is temporary. <laughs> like what? So you are seven pounds overweight. That's your temporary disability. <laughs> I did not know being overweight is a disability. And then the permanent one is the fact that uh, they said that she was one centimeter short. Okay. So and she's just like, well, how do I change that? Like, how would I change being sh short is discouraged and she's like well how do i change how you know my height i mean there's no way of changing that you are what you are and um, her dad who i loved was just like look okay let's just focus on what we can change which is losing weight um and let's uh work on that and it was so nice the way the dad was so supportive of her they did the diet together she'd go running He's riding um, his bike just to support her. She finally loses the weight. And then he was like, well, let's apply again and see, you know, see what happens. Um, they go and apply. And they were, she, the guy was like, well, you know, congratulations for losing the weight. But now what about the height? So then they try her on, you know, what they would use um, when as a pilot to see if you can reach all the different points of the plane. Um, and this time, and she was uh, flying helicopters and luckily she had long arms okay so she could reach that uh, i think it's called a throttle um and her feet could reach the gear which was so good and she, girl got in she finally got in now you know you'd think oh my gosh she got in that's great mm -mm. she goes and unfortunately um it's all men in there was never another woman so first of all, they're just like, what is a girl doing here? Okay, you can tell they're totally uncomfortable with it. So what do they do? They frustrate her. Nobody wanted to take on practice. They would come up with all these excuses like, oh, I don't want to fly with a girl. I don't want her up there crying. I don't want that. So they would come up with different excuses to not give her a chance to learn. You know, um, one was like, oh, you know what? Today the helicopter... Um, needs an oil change or is broken so let's do it uh tomorrow and then the other thing too is they did not have female bathrooms okay so for them they used to wear your uniform and then if you're gonna go for practice you have to dress into your overalls and for her to change she'd have to run all the way to her room and then back uh for practice which by the way it reminded me of that movie if you guys have seen it uh it's called hidden figures it was on Netflix as well. It's about the first African-American scientist who helped work with NASA when they were trying to send the, um, the uh, rocket to the moon. It was the same thing. They didn't have bathrooms. It was, it's a men's world. So they would have to run all the way over there. It so reminded me of that. She would have to run all the way to her room and back. So what would happen is she'd get late and um, they would fly off without her. And she's just like, oh my God. But what did the girl do, right? She went and found this curtain. She puts it around her, um, a curtain in her locker where the men are. And so that way she's got coverage, changed in there, ran, and was there on time. I was just like, you go, girl, you go. And so it was like one huddle after the other. And then um, her would-be mentor uh, would just refuse to teach her, really. Even when she was supposed to do a presentation, she would give it to um, a, her male counterpart. And she would be like, why are you not giving me a chance? And then they would have these parties and she was never in, included. If, the, if she showed up, they would like disappear, act like she's not there. And then she would go to her room, she's trying to sleep, but they're staying up all night, music blasting. And then one day she had it and she was just like, enough. She goes in there unplugs the music stereo and grabs the stereo and the guy's like why are you going with our radio and then she finally uh gave it to him she was like look you refuse to help me because you're scared that one day you may have to report to a woman and in a weird way you're scared that would make you lose your masculinity it's like it's fear you're just scared and there's nothing to be scared all i want is to be a pilot you know i was just like yeah you tell him enough with the male chauvinism with the discrimination 
But then what was interesting was after that, she was so upset. She went, put all her bag, her clothes in her bag and left. And I was just like, girl, you can't quit now. You completely told him like he knows now you're, she's being unfair. And she leaves and goes home. She goes home. Her dad is like, okay. And then it so happened. There was, her friend was getting married that weekend. So she goes to see her friend and her friend looks like she's in bliss with just being married. Life is easy. And when she got home, she's talking to her dad and she's like, you know what, dad, I think I'm going to uh, quit being a pilot. I might as well do what my friend is doing. She's going to be a wife. That life looks simple and easy. Why am I frustrating myself? Why am I putting myself through all this stress and not even getting a chance to be a pilot? And I, once again, that dad, the dad was like, come with me to the kitchen. He's like, here's potatoes, here's flour. Do you know any of this? Do you know what this spice is? This is cumin, this is cilantro. Do you know any of this stuff, right? Like you've been busy in school. Do you even know how to cook if you want to be a wife? And then he proceeds to say, look, your mother never had a choice. It was almost like when they were raised up, there were women, the natural progression was you just get married and raise children and that was it. And he always said, if I ever have a daughter, she should have the right to choose, like um, as far as opportunity. She should be able to do whatever she wants. And then obviously getting married is not a problem either, but at least she should have the choice. And so I, he says to her, I know I did not uh, raise a loser, okay? If you wanna be a loser, just fine, but I know I'm not raising a loser. Oof, oof. When he said that, the girl was like, packed her bags and went right back. I loved when she called her dad and you have to see that section and said, dad, you're not raising a loser, okay? As in, I'm back, I'm here to stay, right? And then it so happens as um, she got the training, which thankfully, uh, when she went back, there was this older um, captain, I believe, I think who was like, I see what's going on here. And he took her under the wing and taught her everything. And let me tell you, he was not easy on her just because she was a girl, oh no, okay? He was hard on her as much as he was with, with men and she becomes a good pilot. But the question becomes, would they ever let her like really fly on a mission? And it so happened that India goes into um, a war. And so they were like, we need all the pilots. And so that meant she had to go as well. And um, it, there's an interesting uh, scene and I'll let you guys watch that where they have to go do rescue missions and um, what she did was so brave and you have to see that, especially to that um, mentor of hers who was not uh, wanting to teach her because she was a woman because he was scared um, of reporting to a woman or having to work with women where he was just like, my hat is off to you. I was wrong. You can do the job. That was such an excellent scene. The other scene I loved was her brother who was always so worried about her because he was also in the military and he kind of knew, you know, it would be hard for um, his sister. And he would say, you know, I can't always be there and watch out for you. But after she went on that mission and she was so brave, I loved what he said. He said, look, I may not always be there for you, but one thing is sh I'm sure of is that you will always be there for me. Oh my God, that was such a touching scene. But anyway, just an excellent show. And then at the end of the show, they show the real Ganjan Saxena. It was so good to see her and they even show her dad. Um, just excellent, you know, it was just good to see. I love when they do those based on a true story because I always wonder, are they gonna show us the real one? And they do, they show that, they even show her on the plane, um, on the helicopter, it was just excellent. So in conclusion, just an excellent, excellent show. I recommend everybody watch it. It's an excellent um, uh, family show, really like girl power, just really inspiring. Um, and they actually say because of her, now there's I think about 1600 female Indian pilots. Woo! I bet you she wasn't thinking she wanted to be a pioneer, but she just wanted to fly, but she, open that door, right? It takes one, it takes one to just open the door. So really an excellent show, inspiring. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining me.
please do subscribe, turn that notification button on so that the next time I'm reviewing another excellent foreign show, you'll be notified. Thank you very much. Deuces.